If you're anything like us, you hate mosquitoes. So much, in fact, that it can ruin a night in nature. And today we're gonna to talk about how we solved our mosquito problem. So I did a lot of research, read a bunch of blogs, tried to find videos. You know, we found some super awesome custom made screens for van doors. They've got zippers that go all the way around. Would be really awesome to have that, but they're about 250 to $300. And super expensive. Yeah, just didn't want to drop that kind of money for it. Not on a screen door. Right, so ran across a blog where uh, they mentioned a specific brand name of screen that we found on Amazon. We'll link that below. And the 60 by 80 size fit this sliding door on the Sprinter almost perfectly. Uh, we tried a couple of different things with it and we'll, we'll show you about that now. So this is a screen door we got. We've already used it once and it worked amazingly. So this is the middle of it right here. And it's got these uh, magnetic bars in them. So it kind of like snaps closed like that. And technically this is meant for like a door on a house. But like we said, it works perfectly for us. And you can actually get some for the back doors as well. I think we're gonna end up doing that eventually. Yeah, just a larger size. This one again is the 60 by 80. Yeah. I don't recall the exact size, but we'll link that below as well. And this actually comes with uh, Velcro on the top. It comes with a soft side on here and then it comes with strips of Velcro to attach, actually on the sides too, to attach to whatever surface you're putting this on. Initially, we thought that magnets would be better because it's more removable and we didn't want to put the like the Velcro on the van. We did end up putting it just across the top and we'll show you that in a second. Um, but the magnets that we got, they're very, very, very strong. This is a stack of magnets, not just one. But they're, they're pretty fragile. Yeah. And so while they did hold the van up, we do have two dogs and sometimes we, <clears throat> Woody is a little clumsy um, when yeah. we get into the van and we stepped on the screen and it pulled on it and it kind of, it pulled one of the magnets off and it shattered. And you don't want shattered magnets anywhere we had some in our driveway and we actually had to go through and take another magnet and get all the shards out so that's true what we're going to show you today is putting the velcro on the actual van so we can hang this up and then whenever we want to take it down we'll just pull it off and the other side of the velcro will just always be on the van so we actually misplaced this velcro and i'm really glad that i wrote bug screen velcro on this because then I was able to know what it is you can see in my perfect handwriting because your handwriting looks like this <laughs> I wrote this what we did to start was we put a strip of velcro up at the top here all along the very top of where like this rubber weather strip is and then what Woody's doing is taking the bug net and lining it up on the top so we know where to put it on the sides yeah, so I'm lining it up on this side first because I know that I at least need to come over as far as this gap. And then I'm holding it before I put it at the top just so that I don't accidentally overstretch the center piece and then it would always be stuck open. So I know exactly where the Velcro needs to go over here, just like that, all the way down. And then over here, we're gonna, this corner's gonna be a little bit weird, but it'll be fine. And then we're going to, Put the velcro down the side of the van right here and just as a reminder this bug screen does come with the velcro so you shouldn't have to buy any extra correct all right so what i'm going to do first thanks to shelby's suggestion is put the velcro on the screen door first and then peel the tape off the back and then we'll line it up again and press it down so that it's got we know that it goes exactly where we want it to go So for this side, we're going to put the Velcro basically just down this edge. So I'm gonna peel it off and kind of do it one, one step at a time and just go nice and slow. It needs to start in the top corner. I'm the wrong person to be doing this. <laughs> Why is that? Of the two of us, because you have 
attention to detail, patience. I don't know if you guys have seen our other video where I talked about Woody's nemesis or one of them and it's tape. All sorts of tape. Butyl tape, apparently Velcro tape. Actually, you're doing a really good job. No, oh, you spoke too soon. Packing tape, electric tape, vinyl tape. It's real sticky. It's tough, okay? Scissors. Got them. Okay. And we're gonna put a little Velcro in here as well so that that corner will stay sealed. I'm just going through, pressing it all down again so that the adhesive on the Velcro will stick nice and tight like a tiger. It's like the perfect length. We do have to bunch it up a little bit in this corner just because of the step storage area that we're gonna have right there. But it works really, really well. Like we said, we've already taken this camping once or we've taken our van out once with this and we were able to leave the door open and the mosquitoes are nuts in the Uintas here in yeah. Utah sometimes. Looks good to me. How about you? Yeah, let's look at the whole thing. Okay. Well, it's getting pretty late in this fine September evening in Salt Lake City and the flies are out. So I'm gonna stay behind this bug screen. And it's working. The flies have been driving us crazy. I have no idea why. There's a little bit, uh, there's a little canal like right behind our neighborhood and maybe that's why, but it's, this works. You can't, I don't know if you can see them. I'm sorry, I'm getting super distracted. They don't get the hint either. They just keep coming back. Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> so anyway, it works in our driveway, not just out in the wilderness. Yep. If you found this tip helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget that the link to this bug screen is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. And today we're going to talk about how we solved that problem. Go on. <laughs> Yeah, um, and then at the top, this actually comes with... Don't mind us, we're just recording down here. Gosh, <laughs> it's like sticking to my hair clip. Here, I'll hold it out the way, how about that? <laughs>